What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee in today's test drive, 1989 Chevy Camaro. This one does have the 5.0 under the hood. Looks like it's got AC setup. We'll be checking it out. It's also got power steering, power brakes. Pretty clean engine bay. Decent paint job. Let's take her down the road, point out all the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. We do this with every car on the lot. 100 detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. So go to that website, check it out. Every Monday at 11 o'clock, we put on new rides. And it helps me out quite a bit if you hit subscribe and share this video. So sit back, relax, because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's look around the interior. We'll check everything out. We'll also place bets on this horn. Do you think the horn works on this one? The dash looks pretty good. The interior is actually in great shape here. Around in the back. Headliner, nice and clean. A little crinkle on the edge of that visor there. It tends to happen on these Camaros. Let's go ahead and uh, start her up here. We'll go ahead and try the air, see if it works. So the blower motor is kicking on, on on this one. We'll check it and I'll tell you if it gets cold. Radio, give her a second. It's not cutting on, it doesn't seem like. Let's try that. Is it working? It's working, good deal. We'll cut that back off. Wipers. They are working and need a new blade. Tilt, yeah. Of course, this one's showing 62,000 miles on the dash. Engine temperature is coming up on the dash there. Looks like it is working. Gas gauge is working halfway up. Battery is charging on this one, tack. And oil pressure is coming up. AC, doesn't feel very cold. It is pushing some air, we'll leave it on. Maybe a touch cold. We'll we'll keep that on and check it out. Power locks. Power work. Horn, did you place your bets? Wow. That one's really sensitive. All right, it does work. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, I will let you know about. I don't think the AC is working. I went ahead and cut it off. It started getting a little warm. Let's roll out of here, guys. Let's see if I can get her in reverse there. There we go. Clutch on this one feels pretty good. The mirror's a little loose. It needs to be tightened up. Anything I see, you'll know about it. coming up on the dash this car is going straight as an arrow down the road with tight steering fourth gear there feels nice and smooth fifth gear there good deal hitting in the brakes Brakes are smooth as well, and they're stopping fast. Just feels pretty good going down the road. Everything's nice and tight. Our gauges are reading out. Suspension on this one's also smooth. I noticed that going down the road. Turn signals 
nice and bright on the dash here. All right, so next up, we're gonna hit the parking lot over here, get some outside shots. Both sides turn signals nice and bright. And I'll be right back. Okay, walk around went well so far. The, this car is in good shape, runs and drives good. Put her in gear and make sure y'all look good. Yeah, got a good view here. Head cam set up, GoPro 8, been using it a few years now. Definitely enjoyed it. Links below if you were interested. You can see all the gear that I use to make these videos. Something that I notice when I'm hitting the left turn signal turn the left turn signal on and then when you turn it off see how it's messed up i think you pull in and then it's not quite right and go up and it'll go to the right one and then it's back to normal i don't know why it's doing that but i've noticed if you pull in and then go up it fixes it it's not right but it's working that way let's roll Just nice and smooth going down the road. Again, the steering's tight, speedometer seems right, all the gauges are working, clutch feels good, the throttle's very responsive, not very late, the brake's smooth, 
I mean, this is just a good running and driving car, guys. This is something you can hop in and drive where you want. You need to go to work, you go to the store, car show, joyride, whatever. So up next, we're gonna be picking out the flaws, walking around, looking at the paint job. There is a few dents and scratches I want you to know about. We're gonna point those out for you. Again, I want you to be happy when you get here. That's why we do these videos. That's why we provide all the pictures. And you can actually call us and talk to any of us. We are all family. You don't, we don't work off commission. Basically, you can talk to all of us on one car. in and up and it works i don't know why it's like that but it is made it back i appreciate it i'll see you in the next video later guys All right, time to walk around this ride, pick out the flaws, detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Let's get started. So coming up on this one, uh, it does have to have a hood prop. These hydraulics have been weak and they're not holding it up at all. So those need to be replaced. There's only one on there too. That's probably a big factor. Coming around on the front here. Front bumper is actually in good shape, nice and clean looking water there coming down this side you got a dent right here in the front you got some dimples on this fender here the middle of that door is wavy if you can see I'll try to run down it and just kind of show you right here in the middle here a little wavy a lot of orange peel little extra wax down here at the bottom you see the orange peel there a few little dimples back here a little dirt there it should come off Like a little stain in the paint could be a water stain a few little water spots up here that's what it is front windshield it's got a few chips in it really small just a few road chips there Coming down this side, lower portion. Tires are in great shape, up and over. This one's got a few dings up top. You can see them one, two, three, four. There's one right here too, five. Back your midsection. Little ding here. Light scuffs and scratches here. Little hazy spot in the door. Little hazy here in the corner. 
You got some water spots on top of the fender there. I'm almost wiping them off. Front windshield here. That's on the inside. Looks like it just needs to be wiped off. Actually, not in bad shape. Mirror looks good. Your seals in good shape. Pillar nice and clean. A few water spots up here. I think you can get those out. The buffer. Coming up on the back, back bumper on this one looks pretty good. Tail lights, good shape. Weather stripping is decent. The jams look good. Even looking through the trunk here, the carpet's in decent shape. Your panels look good. The lid on the hatch here, a little tape there. Scratch down the middle, it's in the glass. Coming down with this, let's see if it sucks down. It sure is, it's working good. A few little dimples. Coming up over your back window, it's nice and clean. Looks pretty good. Made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Opening up your door panel, it's in pretty good shape. This is kind of peeling up there. Seal around the door looks good. Jam's not too bad. Also, the seal looks good. On the seat, you got some wear up here on the edge. Also here, a few wrinkles down there. Carpet's in good shape. Back seat looks good. Headliner in this one looks good. Go ahead and start her up. Brake is working, it's holding the car right now. And across the dash here, all our gauges look pretty good. Oil pressure sitting right around 35, engine temperature is sitting right around 200. Good deal. Keep on out. Motor's nice and quiet. It's hot. The AC is not trying at all on this one. Does need some work. Shut the hood down here.
There we go. Got the hood down. You can see a bunch of water spots on the hood here, little stains. There's a dent right here. The paint missing right there. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out, keeps me making these videos for you every day. We do get about, you know, 10 to 15 cars every Monday. You can check those out at maplemotors.com. Monday at 11 o'clock is when we're gonna post them. We don't update every day. The only thing we do is mark them sold as they sell. Of course, I make the videos. Once I put the videos out, 24 to 48 hours on a lot of them, they will sell. I know some of y'all think that I'm putting videos out of sold cars. I'm not. And if it is sold before I put it out, that's only because it's sold after the video was made. And I'll go ahead and mark that in the title. I won't add any confusion. I don't want the phone calls. We get a lot of them. And uh, we don't want the phone calls on sold cars. We'd rather sell you something that's available. With that being said, financing, shipping, detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.